हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द एंगल ऑफ ट्विस्ट व्हाट इज न्यूट्रल एक्सिस एंड व्हाट इज मूवमेंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस सो वी हैव ए बीम वी हैव ए बीम एट विच द बेंडिंग मूवमेंट इज अप्लाइड एंड वी आर सेइंग दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द थ्योरी ऑफ सिंपल बेंडिंग वेयर ए प्योर बेंडिंग इज अप्लाइड pure bending is applied like this right and there will be stresses developed in the layers what will happen after uh, after loading what is happening this is a sagging bending moment after loading what is going to happen is you will get this type of curvature uh, let us make it here so that i can show the radius also you can you will find the curvature like this like this so this is the curvature after loading after loading you will get this type of curvature right and what you can see here that this layer ab ab is compressed and this layer cd is extended you can see here this was a b layer which is now become a dash b dash which is now become a dash b dash and this is cd layer which now become c dash d dash and suppose this was the center line axis axial uh, line of this beam suppose this is neutral layer why i'm saying the axis or nl i'm saying nl neutral layer right so what is happening with this neutral layer no stress developed in this axis neutral layer this is neutral layer so what is happening is in this part ab there is compression due to sagging bending moment and in cd there is tension so there is decrease in length of ab 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 is greater than a dash b dash there is decrease in length of ab and there is increase in length of cd so cd is less than c dash d dash because there is increase in length in cd so there is a tension and there it is compression and there is another point nl i am saying it nl suppose this is point n and this is point l nl where there is no change in dimensions no change in dimensions so this is n dash l dash and nl are same so nl will be equal to n dash l dash no stresses will be developed no stress will be developed in this part of the beam so this is called neutral layer neutral layer right it is not neutral axis it is neutral layer for the time being we are talking about it a neutral layer so there is a neutral layer at the center there is compression compression at the upper fiber there is tension in the lower fiber isn't it so now if you cut it like this and and how many neutral layers are there how many neutral layers are there it it may having some width inside the board so there are so many neutral layers are there infinite neutral layers are there inside the board because it has some width inside the board so let us see its transfer section its transfer sections what is there suppose it is a rectangular beam of width b it has some uh, suppose width b from uh, seeing from here so there is a layer here this this line this line which is passing through the center where this neutral layer cuts the center of gravity of this uh, area center of gravity of this area and this neutral layer cut each other intersect each other that axis is called neutral axis right so this is the transfer section this is the transfer section 
and at transverse section the neutral layer intersect with the uh, cg center of gravity of this center line of this transverse section and that layer that layer is called that line is called neutral axis right so now you understand what is neutral axis now you can understand what is basically the neutral axis so how will you uh, define the neutral axis so what is neutral axis neutral axis this neutral axis it is the line 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 on transfer section on transfer section transfer section transfer section where neutral layer neutral layer intersect with this transfer section where neutral layer intersect with transfer section where this neutral layer intersect with the transfer section this is called neutral axis right so this neutral layer is intersecting with this uh, transfer section and the line which obtained due to this when seeing from here that is a neutral axis you can imagine that this is a line which is passing through the center of gravity of this axis with this transfer section right so this is the neutral axis and here here uh, you can see here if i uh, take a point here i take a point here from which this this curvature is taking place through which center that is the c right so this c is the this c is the center of curvature of a dash b dash this is also the center of curvature of n dash l dash this is also the center of curvature of c dash d dash so this c point is the center of curvature of all these fibers because in theory of simple bending we assume the uh, there was a assumption that the center of curvature of all the fibers after loading will remain same right so now in this case now in this case this n dash l dash suppose this is a, a radius of curvature from the neutral layer from neutral layer suppose this is the uh, radius of curvature like this right r so n dash l dash radius of curvature is r right so now you can see that this n dash l dash this n dash l dash and suppose there is some angle this theta theta so n dash l dash will remain r theta so here n dash l dash is equal to r theta because it is radius multiplied by the angle so r theta n dash l dash and this is also equal to n l this is also equal to n l so this n l is also equal to r theta n l is also equal to r theta you, this fact sh you should remember we will use this fact in many cases right and this n l was the before loading so n l was equal to a b was equal to c d so here uh, we are going to conclusion that and it this conclusion will be used in our when we will be deriving our bending equation right so what is this nl what is nl before loading this is ab this is cd so ab is equal to cd and this is equal to nl neutral layer and neutral layer there is no stress because there is no stress in neutral layer so n dash l dash is, uh, should be equal to nl and we know n dash l dash is r theta r theta this fact should be remembered right this should be remembered this is very important fact we will utilize this while deriving our bending equation right so this is about the neutral axis and neutral layer now next what is moment of resistance what is moment of resistance 
मोमेंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस लेट एस टेक ऑन द ट्रांसफर सेक्शन लेट एस टेक ए स्मॉल एलिमेंट लेट एस टेक ए स्मॉल एलिमेंट एरिया एलिमेंटल एरिया डी ए डी से दिस इज डी ए दिस इज अ स्मॉल एरिया डी ए एट ए डिस्टेंस से वाई एट ए डिस्टेंस से वाई फ्रॉम द न्यूट्रल एक्सिस ड्यू टू दिस बैंडिंग देर विल सम फोर्स डेवलप्ड फोर्स डेवलप ऑन दिस लेयर दिस एरिया स्मॉल एरिया डी ए ऑन द ट्रांसफर सेक्शन सो द मोमेंट ऑफ दैट फोर्स मोमेंट ऑफ दैट स्मॉल फोर्स अबाउट दिस न्यूट्रल एक्सिस इलका इज कॉल्ड मोमेंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस वट इज मोमेंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस मोमेंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस मोमेंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस डी एम आर आई एम राइटिंग हेयर मोमेंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस द रेजिस्टिंग मोमेंट डेवलप्ड इन द मटीरियल एंड देर विल बी स्मॉल मोमेंट डेवलप्ड इन ईच लेयर डिपेंडिंग ऑन द इट्स डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द न्यूट्रल एक्सिस सो मोमेंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस इज द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द फोर्स मोमेंट ऑफ फोर्स अबाउट दिस न्यूट्रल एक्सिस वाई डॉट टी एफ राइट वाई डॉट डी एफ दिस अ स्मॉल फोर्स स्मॉल फोर्स ऑन दिस एलिमेंटल एरिया स्मॉल फोर्स ऑन दिस एलिमेंटल एरिया दैट इज डी एफ ऑफ दिस एरिया डी ए राइट दिस इज वाई डी एफ दिस इज द मोमेंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ दिस स्मॉल फोर्स एंड दिस फोर्स विल बी डी एफ एंड दिस द मोमेंट विल बी डिफरेंट बिकॉज इट इज द अकॉर्डिंग टू द न्यूट्रल एक्सिस द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द न्यूट्रल एक्सिस राइट सो वट विल बी द टोटल मोमेंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस वट विल बी द टोटल मोमेंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ दिस बॉडी विच विल बी इक्वल टू दिस अप्लाइड मोमेंट रेजिस्टेंस सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ वाई डॉट डी एफ सो दिस इज द मोमेंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ ट्रांसफर सेक्शन ऑफ ट्रांसफर सेक्शन अबाउट न्यूट्रल एक्सिस राइट एंड वट इज फोर्स वट इज फोर्स That is stress multiplied by area, stress multiplied by area sigma d, right? So we can also write so moment of resistance as moment of resistance as integration of y sigma d a because force is a stress multiplied by area. What is the stress acting here, right? So this is the moment of resistance, right? so we have studied here two things one is the neutral layer which has no resistance no uh, stress no stress developed right so no stress developed there is no change in the dimensions of neutral layer right which is the axis of the beam basically which is the axis of the beam in linear direction right now in the upper fiber due to sagging bending moment upper fiber there is compression so so the uh, there is compression so there will be decrease in length of this upper fiber in the lower fiber due to sagging bending moment there is tension there is increase in length c dash d dash so c dash d dash will be greater than the previous length cd there is tension and this is neutral layer where there is no stress so taking the transfer section of this cutting this and taking seeing it from the uh, side from the left side you can see here uh, that neutral axis is line on transverse section where neutral layer intersect the transverse section so neutral layer there are so many neutral layers are there because uh, this this has some length this is width inside the board so there are so many neutral layers and where, where the neutral layer cuts this transverse section we get a neutral axis on the transfer section so this uh, when we are talking about neutral axis it is on the transfer section it is on the transfer section right so this is a neutral axis so this is neutral layer this is neutral axis now after bending after bending this is the curvature and suppose this r is the radius of curvature of this neutral axis nl which is now become n dash l dash and we know that there is no stress developed in nl so nl and nl dash will remain same and that will be equal to r multiplied by theta theta is the angle of this uh, portion of the beam so this is r theta so n dash l dash is equal to nl is equal to r theta because there is no stress so these two will remain same and this will be equal to r theta 
depending on the radius of curvature and the angle. So this is r theta. Now, because it is equal to nl and nl was a before loading that is was equal to ab nl and cd because before loading this was a straight line this is also the theory of simple bending so ab cd and nl is same and nl will be equal to nl dash because there is no stress in the uh, in neutral layer and that is equal to r theta because this is r radius multiplied the angle so this is the uh, this is a very important result which will be utilized while deriving the bending equation another is the moment of resistance what is moment of resistance each transfer section is offering a resistance for bending what is that is called moment of resistance the resistance offered uh, against bending is called moment of resistance right so what is moment of resistance for this transfer section suppose this is a this is the rectangular section we can take a small area d and there will be small force acting on this uh, area that is df the moment of all these forces moment of all these forces about the neutral axis is called a moment of resistance right so moment of resistance is the dmr will equal to y d and if we integrate it we will get the moment of all the forces y dot df integration and what is df what is the force that is stress multiplied by area so y stress multiplied by area the y sigma da this is the moment of resistance of the uh, transfer section of the beam. So this was the topic of neutral axis and moment of resistance.